Hi! Hello! Today will be an, an exciting video. I am super excited to open this package I have from Paper Plus Cloth. It's the first time I ordered from them. I only ordered two things, but my order was placed on October 12th. It shipped on October 24th, at least the label was made on that day. And then it arrived yesterday on the 2nd of November. And I'll probably post this video up soon, shortly after. And I'm super excited. I opened it up yesterday when I received it just to take a peek inside. And I was so happy to see it all packaged so nicely. I'm very happy and I'm like very excited. I feel like I'm getting happy mail and it's just like perfectly packaged and very thoughtful. And they even wrote a little card with my name on it. I covered that with a sticker, but I really love the little note. So let's unbox it together. So excited. We're gonna unbox it. Probably can find a use for this string on other gifts, so that's cool. I can reuse that. We'll take off a note, and it comes with a little sticker there. Trying to remove it so I can put it in my journal. that sticky anymore but I ripped off enough that it kept the designs so I'm very happy about that very sweet touch to have the note let's open this I think this is the invoice cute washi paper let's take a look it's the invoice so I ordered a pre-order the Take a Note Slim Bi-Weekly Planner in TN Size and Sunstar Palette Tone Stickers, um, the Design Antique Flower. Let's open it up. Like the packaging because they use put in a cardboard to protect it. It just came in a basic bubble mailer. So I'm gonna take the plastic off of both and then we'll talk about it. Open this one. This one does have a bit of instructions in Japanese. Okay, let's start with this small one. So I got this sticker set, very cute. It's like a little paint palette. So you just like, you can hold it. But these are stickers of different colors and they had other design options and color tones on the website to choose from. Very small, very cute. I'm excited to use these. We'll give it a try in a moment. But the star and what I want to show is this take a note planner this is the take a note 2025 slim bi-weekly it's very slim for sure Let's do a flip through and walk through together right now of this new lineup journal for 2025. This is a new addition to their product lineup. 
and I'm very excited for it. So we have a cover page. We have 2025 calendar, Sunday and Saturday, highlighted in the color brown. The rest is in gray. We have a little yearly overview, the habits, possibly. And then we have a little vertical layout, a corner on each page. And then we have the grid. The grid is four millimeters and they have like tiny boxes inside it to break it up even more. Let's see if you can zoom in. So we have each month and then some space at the bottom. continues and then we have the calendar space so let's see we have a lot of blank space at the bottom along the edge as well uh, so you get december and go into january each page is dated which i really like the paper is very thin that's for sure you can feel it right away but that's probably what makes it so th slim Okay, yeah, 12, get yeah, 1, 2, up to March 2026, and then we begin the layout, which is what I'm excited for. Oh, I like that touch. So, this is the first layout page, and they do include a little 2024, and then January start. And again, we have... The weekend in brown color, and then weekdays in gray. And we have a line split. We have two lines to split the three columns. One, two, three. But it's so faint, you can use it or not use it. I really like the design. Plenty of room to work with. And that just continues the whole book that's the main um aspect of this bi-weekly slim is that it has the week on each page so you don't have extra space that other planners give you and then the middle is going to be in april yeah april may it's thread binding sewn so it helps it with the lay flat aspect Honestly, when I saw this, I was also considering getting a traveler's notebook, but I talked myself out of it again for like the hundredth time to not get one because I don't think it will work out. I always try to convince myself that I want it and I'll, I'll use it, but I don't think so. But this is one thing that made me excited because like this size is traveler's notebook size. You could fit your band around it, I'm pretty sure. I, I haven't tested it, but it possibly could fit. So that is an option, and I'm considering that in the future, maybe. Um, so we just have that Monday to Sunday layout, each page, column dividers, um, row dividers for each day, and then plenty of grid space and writing space for each. And let's see. We have one, two... have like 10 14 almost 14 pages of just blank paper in the back which is pretty nice and then there are a total of 110 pages in this book plus uh the last one for their 10 year journey anniversary i've seen this in other videos so nice so excited for them and I like their simple name and contact that they have in their planner. It's just very simple. And then that's the end. It's very th slim, thin, and I'm excited. I don't think I will purchase a cover. I think I'm just going to use it as is. See how it goes and if it wears and tears throughout the years. I might consider 
getting a cover if I decide to even buy it again next year. But I'm excited for this planner. And it even came with the bookmark. The most important kind of freedom is to be what you really are. I was surprised um, that the take a note would come with it, even though I didn't order from the uh, take a note website. But um, it's really nice that they included it too. It has a freedom card. So they included it in all their planners, I'm guessing then. So 2025, a little bookmark, and then it has the calendar for the year. I really like that. I don't really use it though. I have the 2024 A5 take a note and I don't use my bookmark, but it is very pretty. So I have another one to add to my collection and I'm very excited. I really like the green, like a nice green color. And then I'm excited to use these as well. I'm thinking when I bought them, I was thinking I could use them in the calendar section because they could fit. Yeah, they would fit just like color coding. We can try one right now just to try. Let's do, let's do, go back to December real quick. We'll go for the green. Very thin. It has a little adhesive on the back. Just place it down. Very nice. Very light and th subtle. I'm excited to play around with that more to see how I want to use it. Okay, next I'm just gonna do a quick flip through throughout the whole book, no talking, and then we'll be back to close out this video. Okay, that is the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I will be planning on doing a setup of my take a note and other planners and journals I will be using for 2025 soon. So stay tuned for that if you're interested and hope you have a lovely day.